patience for anyone who denies that this challenge is real. We don't have time for a meeting of the Flat Earth Society. Flat Earth Clues, written by Mark Sargent, narrated by Mark Sargent. Preface by the editor. The idea of the earth being flat isn't new, yet seems to have found a new lease of life. It is considered the monster of all conspiracy theories. But is it a theory? Could there be some truth to this? I first heard about the notion of the earth being flat on the YouTube radio show Coast to Coast, and as the person being interviewed said it, I waited for the laughter, but there was none. Initially, I thought it was some sort of joke, and then I realised that he was deadly serious. This then led me to do some further research into it. One of the first videos I came across was Flat Earth Clues, which I found so compelling that I told everyone I knew to watch it. From that point on, I was hooked and have continued to tune in and consume as much material and information that I can that is emerging on the subject. As I began to listen in to other commentators and debaters on the topic, I noted that many would mention that the Flat Earth Clues was one of their first introductions to the subject of Flat Earth. I also noted that many YouTubers were reusing the Clues videos within their own videos because they were so powerful. Someone had taken the time to break down the crux of the topic in an easy to digest manner. I was so impressed with the impact that the Clues videos have had that I followed my gut instinct to reach out to the creator of the series, Mark Sargent, to create a joint venture, to use the material to create a book format for the Clues. And with the help of a longtime colleague, Rosie Brooks, as illustrator, the Flat Earth Clues book has been created. We hope that you will take the material in the spirit in which it has been written. It's not been made necessarily to try and convince you with an arm twisted behind your back or a gun to your head that we are right and that this is it, but we just want you to open your mind and to take a closer look at the world around you. Question everything and by all means do your own research. The truth is out there. You can contact me at lisa at lisanewton.co.uk or tweet me at Lisa underscore Newton one. Lisa Newton, Editor-in-Chief, London, UK.